Ray Martin. Now, this former TV star has suddenly become a shining example of everything that's wrong about The Voice. Everything that's stupid as well about this planned advisory parliament just for Aborigines and written into our constitution so you can't get rid of it. Because there's now something else about good old Ray. And it's not just what I showed you last night, that Ray Martin was rolled out to a yes rally in Marrickville to abuse no voters in a speech that the Prime Minister said was terrific. If you don't know, find out what you don't know. <laughs> what that asinine slogan is saying is if you're a dinosaur, a dickhead, <laughs> who can't be bothered reading, then vote no. No, what makes Ray Martin an even bigger symbol of the stupidity of the voice is this, that he is now one of four people who are going to star in Channel 7's big debate on the voice on Sunday night. And here they are. There's National Senator Jacinta Nampajimpa Price on the left, white father, Aboriginal mother. Then Senator Thorpe, white father, mother, Aboriginal, with also Scottish heritage. Labor Senator Malandiri McCarthy, father of Irish descent, Aboriginal mother. So why is Ray Martin there? Well, let's hear from the producer of the show, Rob McKnight, talented guy, he'll explain. From the beginning, we made a decision that it had to be Indigenous Australians on the panel. We didn't want white people talking for them. And you've got to remember, Ray Martin's great-great-grandmother yes. was oh, Indigenous. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. OK? Yeah, yeah fair. So, I saw a confused look, <laughs> um, but that was important to us. So Ray Martin is not white. He is now Aboriginal as well. And that's why he's on the panel, you see. It's not just someone who's uh, plain white or Asian or African or any of those things. No. Now, I don't deny that Ray Martin's great-great-grandmother was Aboriginal. Martin told the show who do you think I am, that he thinks that's actually very important. Ray's maternal great-great-grandparents were William Lamy, an Irish convict from Tipperary, and Bertha from the Camilleroy tribe. Ray grew up never knowing anything about his Aboriginal ancestry. My mother knew about it, and uh, she didn't tell me. And I asked my mother why, and she said, oh, really, it wasn't important. Um, I think it was important. But if Ray Martin is on Channel 7's big debate about the voice, why we need it or not, uh, if he is, that has to raise some very big questions. And the first, of course, is, so what exactly is an Aboriginal now? Is, is Ray Martin really Aboriginal in any meaningful way? I mean, just one of his 16 great-great-grandparents was Aboriginal. So why does that one person define Ray Martin more than the other 15? Or define him so much that people like him must have a voice to the parliament in the constitution, alone of all the races in Australia. And it's not just Ray Martin, of course, when I now see the people who get university scholarships after identifying as Aboriginal. And I don't doubt they do have one or probably even more great-great-grandparents themselves who are Aboriginal. Nevertheless, I wonder why we must treat them as so very different to everyone else, a race apart, needing special scholarships or a voice. And the other question about Ray Martin, the Aborigine, let's look again at this Channel 7 panel of Aborigines who will be discussing that voice that the Prime Minister says is needed to give Aborigines a voice to Parliament at last. Finally a voice. Seriously. Do any of these four people not have a huge voice already? Three are senators in the Parliament of Australia. One a potential Prime Minister, of course. And the fourth was one of the most famous TV journalists of his time. Millions of other Australians will never have a voice as loud as theirs. And what next? Will Ray Martin, this Aborigine be one of the 24 Aborigines selected to be on The Voice if we say yes to it? Could happen, technically. So I ask again, just who is this voice for? How many Aborigines really need it? And how mad is it to divide Australians by race so crudely that even a Ray Martin 
becomes an Aborigine and gets a voice in the Constitution when 97% of Australians won't.